Once you get those three basics down, the lighting, the composition, and the sound, then it's time to start thinking a little more creatively. After all, we are out to market your orthodontic practice specifically. And another really, really good way to do that in your videos is to use what we call visual reinforcement, which actually relates back to branding, which any marketing person will tell you is the most important factor in any marketing that you do. It's when you throw that extra something into the video to help the viewer better connect, whether it be consciously or subconsciously, with your particular practice. And most times, that can be done with something as simple as your logo. You actually see it all the time on TV, especially with live TV newscasts or news channels. Right there in the bottom corner of the screen, it's always there to remind you of what channel you're watching. And one really easy way to add visual reinforcement to the videos you shoot in the office is to find a place where you can include your logo somewhere noticeable in the background. Try hanging a sign or a logo on the wall behind your subject. Or if you've already got a nice logo on a wall somewhere in the office, try that out and see how that situation works. Just be careful not to overdo it. I mean, after all, you don't want the wall behind your subject to look like a NASCAR race car. You just want to make it where it's nice and noticeable. It's great if you can do it. Again, it just adds that nice little touch that helps remind the person watching the video that the person talking in the video is saying all kinds of great things about your office specifically and helps reinforce that logo, reinforce that brand in the mind of the viewer.